Good morning guys! So Ben and I are heading off to Hakone today. So Hakone is a um, town kind of at the base of Mount Fuji. It's known for its hot springs, its onsen. I have never been um, because last time I was in Japan I was only here maybe eight days. So I had four days in Tokyo and four days in Kyoto. So I'm really excited to see something that I haven't seen before in Japan. So I'm just quickly packing up some of my stuff now just to take with me. So I've got clothes for tomorrow and Monday, some jammies, knickers and bras. I've got some snacks, toiletries, sandals just in case it gets warm, hair dryer, dinosaur of course, snacks, electronics and water. Oh, and of course my raincoat. The forecast is rain all day and then tomorrow it looks like it should be starting to ease a bit and then by Monday hopefully no more rain for a little while. So I better get going because I'm meeting Ben at Shinjuku station in 40 minutes. Okay guys, we came to the Odaku counter. We were here to get the Hakone free pass, which basically means that you travel there by a really cool train and then you can go on cable cars and boats and all sorts of things and it was going to be great. But we've just found out that because of the rain, we can't even get to Hakone. So we've just tried to figure out what to do. If we cancel our hotel, we're going to lose about $450. We don't want to do that because that's a lot of money, so we've decided to go there anyways. So apparently once we get there everything might be closed. Okay, so we've been here for about an hour and we have figured out what to do. A good traveller adapts to when bad things happen, don't you think? Yeah. We could have easily just been like, no, oh, this is not what we wanted, we booked this so long ago and, and I wanted to do all those fun things, which I did for a little while. But then I realized, hey, what, what else are we to do but to go anyway and roll with the punches. So we've got ourselves a train to Odawara, which is I think about maybe 40 minutes from where we're staying. And then we'll catch a bus to somewhere. And then from that somewhere, we will catch a taxi to our hotel. And then we will see, maybe the rest of the um, transport will be open tomorrow, maybe it won't, um, it depends on the weather, so we'll let you guys know. That's the train that should be running right now. Odawara. Um, we're going to find ourselves some lunch and then we have to find a local bus to take us to Hakone Yumoto, I think it is. And then from there we need to take a taxi. So we had no idea how to order and a nice man came up and helped us. And we've ended up with, I think, what is curry ramen. Station um, by bus, 
and now we're just waiting in a taxi line on this very beautiful bridge up here in the mountains um, to get a taxi to our hotel. So we're actually back on a bus now. We were waiting in the taxi line, but someone came up to us and said the buses are now starting again. So now we're on a bus to Mianoshta, and from there we will probably catch a taxi to our hotel. We're here at the Fujia Hotel in Mianoshita. Okay guys, we have just been let into our rooms here in the Fujia Hotel and I thought I'd give you a little tour that opens up into this giant room. It comes with a bin on one of the beds, dressing table, we've got a set of drawers and there's some yukata in there for us to put on, television, Little writing desk, refrigerator. This is where we have deep and meaningful discussions. There's my bed. There's Ben again. This is what I'm most excited about. Isn't that pretty? And this is the bathroom. Toilet, basin, bath. And this bath is actually fed with water from a natural hot spring. How amazing is that? I'm totally gonna have a bath tonight. basically four blocks of wood which you then have to make into these various shapes. Um, a few minutes ago I said that I was going to by the end of our two night stay here have done them all. I just spent 15 minutes trying to do one of them without success so it is now my challenge to do one of them by the time that we leave here. guys, um, so we've just finished having a little walk around Mianoshka, um, it's a very cute little place, it's getting dark um, and we're about to have dinner in the hotel in the Fujia restaurant, so that's it for me for today um, and then tomorrow I'm not sure what we're doing yet, but we'll be sure to take you along. Bye guys! Bye!